This is like one problem I'm having with Gen 3 so far. I'm noticing this a lot. You're just like gauntleted a lot between towns. It feels like fake difficulty. There's a lot of, you know, run back to town, lol. But it's like a million miles walk, lol lol lol. Oh hey, you just beat the leader of Team Magma? Okay, have some trash. Like, it's not difficult, it's just really annoying. Now I'll fight these guys, fine. I really want to fly right now. Some I'm gonna save before your annoying face, camper person. Great Balls don't give a premiere, okay. Fair enough. There's a hot spring, looks like. Perfect thing to have after I've been flying in ash for the last, like, I don't know, hour. Slugman and Torque Hole. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any water moves, nor will I for a while. Hundred ninety-two degree heat. That's oddly specific, sir. Are you aware of this? Heck. Oh, I drank it.
flamethrower? Why do you know flamethrower? I almost just gave it stab flamethrower. Fight is special, this gem nerd. I will fight you 87 times. Leviathan likes hot, spicy hot Cheetos. That's not good for me. So I think there is only just one part of it. Fine, fine. Send out flying type for you. Want to max the EXP a little bit better. I only have 40 minutes left anyway. That's very good.
Yeah, it's a chain. Smog, that's dangerous. You didn't harden, so I'm daring. Yeah. Fight this thing 83 times! Ah. This would be wrong. Yep. That's fine, I wanted to go heal anyway. I would like to have gone to heal. Badges in uh, the 12 hours would be pretty impressive. Not gonna... By 43 times! Flinch is insane in Gen 3 for some reason! Orange is like really low one of the two. I crit level. Level up, that should be an evolution. that you keep pick up before I save. Because if you don't, then I'm giving you an Everstone, leveling you to 100, then replacing you on the team. No one's saying whatever keeps locked in my house. Yeah, I know, right? Silky pickup, fantastic. I'm evolved to Corone. Corone is in my box. Uh, Fuchi and the Mighty. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know actually. Okay, is not one I'm familiar with. Let's go! Puny trainer. I have initials of- No, I'm the leader. Uh, from there is. Demonstrate the hot moves? Uh, I don't know, you're my first trainer. Sunny day is fine. Sunny day is absolutely fine. Hyper potion, damn. Wow, that did a lot. Not gonna lie. No, that was that was fine actually. I sh uh, like I led with Dig to get into potion range, knowing I wasn't gonna kill, so that I wouldn't get hit in return. It was actually calculated. Not not no exaggeration, no meaning. That was actually calculated. It also wastes one of the uh, gym leader's potions from um, Torkoal. This was actually intentional. I get into potion range, don't take any damage. You have flamethrower, that's scary. Yep, calculated. Overheat's gonna be... Yep, there goes another hyper potion. Yep, calculated. Because the Torkoal actually scares me. So now, if my calculations are right, she doesn't have a hyper potion for the Torkoal. Um, and I going going in like completely fresh. Yeah, no, this was this was this was calculated. This was a thousand percent calculated. To, like start throwing some sack out. Ooh, interesting. White smoke. What does that do? What do you do? Stat reduction. Okay, so there goes that plan. I think you outspeed, you don't outspeed? Fight it till it freaking dies! I'm gonna get paralyzed. Yep. I was going for as many flinches as I could get, turns out that's zero. I don't speed this thing? Okay. There's overheat. That's death, yeah. Special attack cards they felt that's what I was going for. Uh, what else can I throw at you?
Yeah, my health isn't helping either. Okay, I guess we just here. Not a Nuzlocke, so this is okay. But you are gonna- no, you're not. I'm gonna have, uh... I'm gonna have Marsh Stomp at this point. Cool. That's four badges. What team is that? That's not overheated. That's overheated, isn't it? Over here, yep. Hello, do not battle me right now. Okay, go goggles. All right, I can get through this handstorm now. Bye. from what I remember. So I can use strength out of battle now. And if I had the acro bike, that would be different. You don't get fly until really late this game. Imagine if I had let her keep her hyper potions. Okay, I've already been this way. Yeah, I've been this way. Sweet. I'd like me walk directly in my path. Thank you. 
it's all good. Sit down with some Applejack cereal. Thanks, Rio. I've had a good one. There's still about 20 minutes left of the stream. Oh, cool. It's still registered. Fantastic. Been deleted from existence, but you still exist. Oh, I can't get back up that way. Okay. Well, I can always go this way. Wow. Alright, there's some trainers I want to take out. As much as I would love to go all gung ho and be like, yeah, let's take on Dad, he has two slackings and a, and a Vigora. Uh, no thanks. It's kind of weird playing Pokemon for this amount of time in a row, though. Like, it feels incredibly odd. Okay, that's fine. I'll actually meet you up this time. I get to kill your Shroomish. Faint. I'm murdering you. Oh, you still have the thing, right? Welcome back to existence. Funny hopping should be a challenge. Absolutely not. That would be more annoying than like actual challenge. Yep, four badges. I could go take on Dad. I'm not going to, though. Because I want to fight every trainer in the gym, and I don't think I have the, the kind of time to full clear a gym. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, I caught one. I named it Rydia because I didn't have a better name in mind. Dead Moon, yeah. So, like, after having spent about 12 hours with this game, I'm more or less going to spend the rest of this episode talking. Um, but, like, having spent about 12 hours with this game, A, it's really weird to play a Pokemon game long form for me. Like, I, th I think the last... I, I don't even know if I Marathon Sword Shield this hard. Um, my opinion about Gen 3 has softened significantly uh, after playing this for 12 hours straight. And you'd think it would have the opposite effect, but like, after playing Pokemon Ruby for 12 hours straight, I kind of feel like um, I like Gen 3 a lot more than I thought I did. Um, this is actually still a pretty neato game. I didn't have the getting lost problem near as much, but more or less I think I just had a lot more intuition of, oh, this thing was here. I think playing it this long in a row kind of really helped. Um, are you sorry, building jump around from Vitalik? Uh, but yeah. Um, I, I like this a lot more than I thought I did, honestly. Like, this is pretty neat. The music is a lot better than I remember, despite making fun of it for memes of trumpet and all that. Um, it's it's pretty neat. Like, this is still... It holds up quite well, uh, IMO. Um, it takes a little while to get off the ground, but, like, every Pokemon does, I feel like. The first gym is always, like, pretty rough. Um... I don't hate this near as much as I thought I did. It's, like, not bottom of the barrel anymore, I don't think. Um, I'll have to, like, actually finish it to get my opinion, like, solidified and all that, but, um... You're gonna see the state save thing. That's because I want to load the state with the cool music, but I don't want to lose my progress, Lamo. Because that was, like, ten hours ago. There we go. I'm keeping a backup, because SRAM is weird. Um... Yeah, this game is pretty neat, uh, from what I remember. I thought I wasn't going to like it as much. It's going to be a very, very interesting Nuzlocke, I think. Um, so I'll be honest, if the Nuzlocke hadn't been met, I would have done a um, Fire Red Beef Leaf Green Nuzlocke after the challenge that was originally scheduled for after the Monk SCC, which I'm keeping a mystery for now. And is like kind of super back burner. Uh, yeah. But like, yeah, it's pretty neat. Like, I'm gonna be taking Mudkip, so it'll be a little bit easier, but, um. Goodness gracious me. I am not ready for a Nuzlocke, so that's gonna be a thing. Let's just hope that the Monk SCC takes its time. Uh, it's completely vanilla. It's my first Nuzlocke. I'm not going rando. Are you. Okay, so let me explain my history with Nuzlocke's a little bit, in that I've never done one. I don't like permadeath, it's why I've avoided the Fire Emblem series this whole time. Oh, neat, I can just sit here and be a cozy pile, fantastic. Um, I am a self-imposed challenge enthusiast. I have a large resume of, like, mostly Final Fantasy tactics, but I also do the Final Fantasy V four job fiesta every year. This year will be no exception, despite how packed the schedule is going to be. Um, so I love self-imposed challenges. People have for years asked me when I was going to do a Nuzlocke, because it is like the most famous quintessential self-imposed challenge. And my answer's always been the same. I don't consider Nuzlocke a quote-unquote challenge. It's, it boils down to don't die lol, because it's permadeath. I don't like permadeath in any game. It's why I've avoided Fire Emblem for so long. When the challenge revolves around, lol, don't get crit. Yo, thanks for the happy birthday. I appreciate that, Game Boy. Um, so when, it, when the challenge, quote-unquote, revolves around, don't get crit, don't die, don't get hit, lol. I don't consider that a challenge in the same vein. However, I have been talked into it, mostly by Q. Um... And she has basically told me, you can, in fact, math out around most everything in the game, including crits. 
So there's a lot of prep work that goes involved. So maybe I can handle it. The way it's going to work is as follows. I'm going to just do a Nuzlocke. I'm going to look up the rules right this second, as a matter of fact. Um, any Pokemon that faints is considered dead. I'm, it's, it's, it's not going to be released. It's going to be put in a box that I can't touch. Um, can only catch the first wild Pokemon encountered in each area. Um, if I kill it or it runs away, that's it. That's it for the route. Um, I'm going to give myself a shiny claws in one sense. If I see a shiny, I will allow myself to catch it. But if it is not my first thing on that route, I can't use it. Just, it's, it's, it, I'll catch it, but it's like considered already dead. Um, I am not counting, well, I'll count route one for Ruby because you technically get your starter on route 101, so like, that, that, that kind of doesn't really apply. Normally, if I were doing a Nuzlocke, I wouldn't count Route 1 until I have Pokeballs, because that's just kind of dumb to lose an entire route. Granted, Route 1 is, like, either a rodent or a bird, so it doesn't really matter, but... Um... All, they're all gonna be nicknamed. That's just a Nuzlocke thing. Um... I'm going to allow gifts and in-game trades, but it will, like, in-game trades will count for that city or route or whatever. Um... For that's just how I'm gonna handle it. Um, I'm not gonna give myself safety nets. It's gonna be play where it lies. I'll be making saves A as a safety blanket and B as um you know to prevent crashes and whatnot. But I am not giving myself mulligans, I am not giving myself outs, I'm not giving myself I disagree and reset. It play, I play where it lies. If I die, I die. Um, if I wipe at any point, it is a game over. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the PC and pick anything that's alive. If I wipe, it's a wipe. Um, Items are allowed, um, grinding is allowed to a point. I'm not gonna go super crazy, I'm not gonna get to like level 100 and be like, lol, curb stomp, nuzlocke over Lamau nerds. Um, EXP share is allowed. Um, and I will be very much allowing tips from chat, mostly Q. Um, I'm allowing myself a dupes clause. I'm gonna talk to Q about the dupes clause before I actually commit to whether or not the dupes clause is in effect. But I'm counting the dupes clause, like I'm going to be probably considering that very, very heavily. My dead Pokemon are going to be in a rip box. They're not gonna be released because I'm an emotional hoarder. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, I don't want like six Pidgeys. Uh, and then I'm gonna ask about field moves in case there's something like if I if I'm locked by movement then I'm gonna allow myself mostly for convenience and quality of life I again I'm gonna talk to Q about this um, but it's gonna be as close to core as possible. Um, with a little bit of wiggle room for quality of life and a little bit of making my first one, like, a little bit less awful. Um, how it's going to work on the stream is also as follows. Unless I am really into it, it is going to be a one per week session 
on Saturdays. It's going to be, like, a bit longer. I'm going to try and go, like, five, six hours per session to give myself a good thing. But, um, Counter Species, Family, and Reticon get a redo on the encounter, basically. I'm going to talk to Q about it, because I know Q plays with that rule. I am not going to give myself any wiggle room. I'm not, like, it's going to be the first encounter, catch or kill, or run. Then, you know, that is what it is. Um, I'm gonna, like, make sure these rules are all solidified. If at any point I game over, I am taking a week off of it, and either augmenting another challenge in between it, or starting again afterwards. It's going to be Ruby until either I win, or until I charisma break, and say, screw this game, I'm going to fire a leaf grain. But I am going to have a completed Nuzlocke under my belt. How it's going to work for highlights is as follows. I will make the highlights of each attempt. Like, each session will be highlighted. The exported playlist will be a start to finish completion. I am not going to export the failed attempts, but the failed attempts will remain on Twitch as highlights. If I game over, it won't be end stream, unless I'm like really mega tilted, but if I, uh, if I game over, it'll be, that'll be it for that session and maybe a week off. Unless I'm really into the Nuzlocke, in which case it'll just take over. There are two reasons for this. One, this is the challenge I've been dreading for the longest time. And two, because I have so many things on the list that I need to get done. Uh, there's so many things I have to do now. Um, so I'm gonna, like, I, in order to fit time to clear all of these incentives, it's gonna be a thing. I'm gonna go over all of this stuff again tomorrow during the after party. As for the subathon itself and the birthday weekend itself, I'm just looking at the, the sub points and the recent events, and god damn, you guys are nuts. Um, it's, it's nuts. It's insane. The support today has been more than I have ever seen in my entirety of every single bit of years I have ever done any of the streaming stuff. The sub stuff was insane. After starting next week, I'm moving away from the sub reward stuff a little bit because uh, I, I just kind of want to focus on streaming and having fun. But I wanted to go all out this year for like subathon stuff. I'm gonna do like four subathons a year, but like I'm not gonna make them a big focus of the thing. Um, I'm just like gonna start focusing on like follow goals and just you know building community. I just wanted to go all out for birthday stuff this year because. It's been a long time since I've done a subathon. It's my birthday, and, um, like, I don't know, it just, I wanted to. It's been a while. Since I can stream on the regular again, since I got my motherboard replaced, um, you know, I've been able to. Like, I've been, like, 13 hours, zero dropped frames. That's nuts to me. But tomorrow's going to be an after party, so tomorrow I'm gonna open with some just chatting. And then I'm gonna play a mystery game that's gonna be comfy cozy while I just kind of bask. I may or may not continue um, sub goal stuff during the after party. Probably not because like, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, the KOTOR 1-2 thing is not something I desperately care about. Maybe it'll be up but like hidden. Kirby the Amazing Mirror Lamau. <laughs> okay, you know what, that's the 250. That's the 250 sub goal now. You have four minutes. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like, I think the sub goal stuff is done when this timer hits zero. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, I might play it some- You can technically force it. You're, you're a super patron, you can force it. You're a patron, you can technically put it on a poll. <laughs> if you want to see that game played, you have that option. You've always had that option. 
<laughs> you have that kind of power, I hope you know. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you for gifting to Mads96. Welcome to the Red Mage Village. Love hype red mag bags. After we're just one. Once that timer hits zero, I'm gonna like close out the sub goals, I think. Or maybe I'll keep them as like, but super hidden tomorrow. Tomorrow's game is gonna be cozy. Tomorrow's gonna open with just chatting to actually talk about it, because it's like two in the morning here. Not a lot of people are. Well, there's a, still a decent number of people here. None of sub gifting you were away. Just really lucky. Yeah. There were like so many gifted subs going out today that a lot of people who probably have never been in my stream got one. 5 a.m. for you. Yeah. I'm going to go over my thoughts of the birthday weekend and my thoughts of the subathon and the sub explosion that happened. Um, I'll do all that tomorrow. I'm gonna open with just chatting. Um, and then I'm gonna play a really comfy game that I've been looking forward to for like a little while. The order of stuff is as follows. Um, this is nowhere, this is nothing, you know, close to like a proper schedule schedule. But at some point next week, I'm gonna do the Forbidden Memories Final Six Revenge. This is going to include building a new, not building a new deck, but like getting a better deck, getting equips, and all that fun stuff. Um, also, sometime next week is going to be a one off of an ALTTP rando, inverted entrance enemy rando, thinking next Saturday probably. I'm going to continue Xeno Gears next Thursday. Once that is done, I'll be playing either Okami or Nier Automata, probably Okami first. After that, we'll be near Automata. So, like, blind game is Xenogears. When that's done, Okami. When that's done, near. Um, I am also going to be re-picking up... Or, also, sometime next week, I'm going to continue the Final Fantasy Tactics Monk Straight Class Challenge. Once that is done, we'll be the Ruby Nuzlocke. Yeah, Okami was the 20 sub goal that got met real fast. <laughs> yeah, I got some long ones in me. Um... I'm going to be picking Jump back up. Once that is done, I'm going to pick up Final Fantasy VI Brave New World as the ROM hack slot. And probably wait till after Xenogears for that as well. I'm not sure yet. But I'm, I'm going to see how it all lines up. At some point, I'm going to be restarting Dark Souls as well. I'm just going to go for a Red Mage-ish build, and I'm starting a new game. I'm going to keep all the highlighted stuff that I already had, because my first reactions to stuff is really good. And end. End of subathon. And at some point in the future-ish, I'm going to be picking up a speed game, either actually learning something or a one-off 12-hour challenge. The game is up in the air in between A Link to the Past or Final Fantasy IV, or, um... Super Metroid, maybe. I don't know. No, that one's, like, really technical. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, the sub-goal thing is, is gone. The sub-goal thing is, is gone. Do I have All Way Rember Happy Day up anywhere? I don't think I have all way remember or happy day. Yeah, I don't think I do. On the same thing. This ends the Red Mage Village birthday party for 2021. All way remember happy day. It's 2 a.m. I'm gonna go fucking sleep. <laughs> Let's see if uh, anyone's on though. Let's see if anyone's on I can host. Thank you, man. I think I know who I'm gonna host. Cause like, 
no one's on the mount. I am staggeringly tired, yes. Alright, let's wait for the inevitable ad to go away. Oh wait, no, I'm subbed technically to this person. Just go post Red Meg Bag in Wolsk's chat. I'm going the heck to sleep. I'll be back tomorrow for after party to give my thoughts and to play a comfy game. But I'm looking at the sub point count. I'm like, God, this has never been this high. And it never will be that high again, probably. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Love your faces and peace.